Hi guys, and welcome to another Pushing Polygons. Today, we are looking at the Xbox Series X Halo Edition and the Master Chief Controller because today is 11 15 2021. We are talking the 20th anniversary of Xbox. So let's open these up, take a look, and well, because we're opening them up, let's get into it. So one of the first things that you're going to find on the console here is the Microsoft has done like a slip covering. You can see this here. The back of the console is, at least on the slip covering, is very similar to the way that the launch Xbox Series X consoles came out with Master Chief on the back. I would assume that this is going to change in the not too distant future with future consoles as Microsoft is starting to put out more games and of course they would probably want to uh, indicate that on the packaging. But this is how it is for now. So we've got Master Chief on the back, we've got of course Master Chief on the front because this is his console. On the sides here we have of course the uh, showing the top of the system and some of the uh, capabilities of the system. Uh, you will find this on a lot of the normal Xbox uh, boxes. Again, this is uh, just a quick packaging overview. And then here on the other side, you get a little bit, um, a little more art, if you will. Now, there is, of course, and I did not come prepared, which I should have, this is my bad. There is secure stickering, which they claim you can just pull. So we are trying to do this very gently instead of just cutting the sticker and gentle as it goes. And we can just lift this up and away. One other thing to talk about with the Halo Xbox is the fact that these do come either with a code or pre-installed with Halo Infinite on them. Halo Infinite single player will be available on December the 8th of 2021. Beta early access multiplayer free for everyone is available today, which is 11:15 of 21. So if you've uh, already watched this video, leave a comment down below telling me how you like the beta multiplayer experience. Uh, if you haven't, tell me if you're curious to try it out or if you don't really care for Halo or if you're still trying to get a Series X, and to be honest, there is gonna be a, another video coming later talking about my experience waiting overnight for this console. Uh, now we're looking at the box. Of course, you have a nice kind of star field sort of imagery up here with the Xbox symbol. The star field imagery is supposed to be from Delta Halo. It's kind of interesting that they chose a star field considering Microsoft's next big game in the holidays is going to be Bethesda Starfield. So, coincidence? I don't know. We got Master Chief on the front again. Uh, another image here. The box feels pretty smooth, very sturdy. We got Master Chief on the back, and actually I'm a little disappointed. This is no, this is of no fault of my own, but I just see that there is some damage on the back of the box. A little disappointed in that, but Thankfully, hopefully it's just the box and I have unfortunately this past year seen things damaged far worse because of shipping problems. Whether that is a issue with Best Buy or uh, whoever their carrier is, um, you know, it's, it, I guess at this point it's neither here nor there. It just is what it is. Do keep a lookout on uh, that if you're going to have these as a collector's item and you've got that much of a damaged box, maybe looking for another one and these are pretty expensive on eBay. We've got the main event, which apparently I'm pulling out with a bunch of styrofoam, but we'll talk about the main event here in a minute. We're not doing the main event just yet. The Inside of the packaging, and I will say Microsoft has been really good about this in the last several years. There's some UNSC 
design in the box. Microsoft, of course, is good with their with their boxes. They flip open. They, it's kind of a very premium experience. They really started doing that with Xbox 360s, if uh, any of you out there remember those. I will be actually also, again, showing off consoles um, at some point in the future. We have Halo stuff. I don't know if there's a code on this, so I'm not showing it that extensively to the camera. Inside, I think. Yeah. Inside of our UNS uh, UNSC, we've got power cable. We've got HDMI. That's always important. Especially if you want to connect to the television. And I have seen pictures of this from other videos, but I am looking forward just to holding it. This is the 20th anniversary Halo Collector's Edition controller. There is a embroidery on the back or a printing, 20 years, Halo, again, Halo came out the same day as the Xbox original Xbox uh, back in 2001, so they share the same birthday. You have a nice dual triple color uh, scheme here on the front, like a blue aqua sea color, a black and a little bit of a gold trimming. Um, I really like that. Your D-pad is uh, fairly standard. The sticks, fairly standard. Triggers are also black. Um, I feel like they could have gone a little bit further with this controller, but yet at the same time, I feel that it is generally a very uh, elegant and a not too over the top design. If you want over the top, you really should take a look at the limited edition Forza 5 controller. So there's our controller. We've got some, we've got the power plugs. We've got the HDMI plugs. That is, besides those codes and some batteries and a little bit of paperwork that is also here in the box, you guys don't really need to see the paperwork. It's going to be the same paperwork that you get other places. That's really it for the, uh, co the box itself and then some of the extras. We're going to move over to actually unsheathing the console. At this point, we're just going to put this down. So our very next thing here, so you guys can get a good look at this. And so as I'm unwrapping this, of course, all Series X can be stood vertical. They can also be laid down. There is a stand on the bottom. The stand does not come off. So that is one thing to be aware of. The design of the slip covering for Master Chief uh, around the system. You can see 20 years. You can see, uh, of course, that that uh, Starfield, that Xbox uh, logo, and if Master Chief 1-1. One, one. I like the kind of the coloring of the paper, too, that they put on this. So, let's stand this up. That way you guys can take a really good look at it. So on the front, it is a design. Again, it is inspired by Master Chief's armor, which is kind of this design language you see on toward the bottom of the console, and you see it going up on both sides. That's what that is supposed to represent uh, per interviews from Microsoft personnel. And then the stars here at the top, of course, again, these are the stars that you would see from Delta Halo. Now, in the top of the fan, and Microsoft could have taken a few liberties. I don't know exactly how much extra it would have cost them to do this. But when they displayed the Series X originally, it had like a green glow out of the top. Eventually, what we found out is what they did is they colored the insides of the... Uh, air holes so it gave it that look if you were to look down from the top but they, they could have put an led fan in here some people like leds some people don't that's neither really here nor there i feel like that they could have done that the top though i don't know if the camera is going to pick this up uh, if i angle it 
but there is some light blue if you really kind of are able to see down into the uh, the air vent just a little bit. So again, uh, that's the design on the, the sides and the front. The back also, again, we have the 20th anniversary for Master Chief. And actually, I just banged the console against the microphone. I hope I didn't kill anybody's ears. My apologies. But we uh, have that symbolage again. Again, this is, this is celebrating 20 years of Xbox, 20 years of Halo. And although the button lights up white when you turn the console on, the base button itself, when the console is off, is more of a bronzish, a goldish color. I think that's a nice touch, especially given the accents on the Chief's armor um, and how they are kind of signifying that this is uh, special. So when the console is off, the button looks different. Um, I think it still really appears white when the console is on. So if you're looking for a different colored LED, I don't think you're going to get that there. But either on or off, the uh, console looks pretty good. I do know that there are some special sounds with the console, and I may try and get a clip of that here for the end of the video uh, for you guys to be able to uh, see and hear that when you... Uh, turn the console on, shut it off, eject a disc. Uh, those are usually the functions that um, get you those uh, additional sound effects. So that's it for the console, but we're not done yet. We've got one other piece, really special, and I have to say, when it comes to controllers, Microsoft has done a wonderful job. They have done extraordinary detailed work when it comes to special editions, whether it's multicolored, Forza uh, Horizon 5 controller, for example, whether it is the 20th anniversary Xbox controller, which is going to have a dark but translucent shell to really kind of give you the feel that you're playing with a modern successor of the Duke controller. If you're not aware, the Duke controller was the controller on the original Xbox before they changed it over to the S controller. They had a large one. Uh, there was a interview with uh, during Microsoft's 20 year celebration video where one of the Xbox officers said for the Duke, you had to have hands like a gorilla to be able to handle that thing. I don't know. I was 18 years old. I could, I was able to handle it just fine, but maybe I do have hands like a girl. I, maybe they're just big hands. But Microsoft has always, especially since some of the complaints early on, complaints with the D-pad during the 360 generation, because they did multiple, they did multiple iterations of the D-pad there, and they changed the D-pad again for Xbox One. Uh, didn't change it largely, but they did do some refining. They eventually got into the premium controller market. Now these controllers are a bit more expensive. They are supposedly made to last, although I have heard that some people have had serious, serious issues with some of their Elite 2s. I didn't really hear too many concerns about the quality of the Elite 1s, but I've, I've heard of uh, rubber padding on the switches coming off. I've, I've heard of different things. I have an Elite 2. I personally haven't had this problem. This controller is an Elite 2. I do plan on using this. Uh, I would love to get a second one just to kind of hide away in my uh, little collection. But um, this one particularly uh, at this time, uh, as, at least as far as everything goes, is going to get used. Uh, again, the, the box, it's, I mean, it's pretty solid. And Microsoft, of course, taking really notice of small details, like you can see some sort of a covenant or some sort of forerunner light and, and uh, iconography and, and, and shapes designs in the front cover. The, of course, the uh, front gives you an idea what the controller looks like, but you know that that's not good enough. We 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 need to we need to see and hold this thing in person because, as Jean-Luc Picard once said to Mr. Data, touching it makes it more real. 
The 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 controller case for this, uh, you're going to have a USB C on the front. It connects into a charging port. So all you got to do is set your uh, Elite controller down in here and it will charge as long as the case is plugged in. Uh, that's a nice little feature. They introduced that on the Elite 2s. The, of course, it is a UNSC or Master Chief Green uh, UNSC iconography on the front of the uh, hard case. Uh, if you're carrying around this controller, and you drop the case as long as it's in here, it should be fairly well undamaged. I wouldn't, you would really have to pound on this thing hard to cause it some damage. Of course, you have your uh, obligatory uh, beads to make sure everything's fresh. And we're going to get to the controller in a second. One thing I am wanting to see before we get into everything, and I think they. Yeah, they hit it over here. So the USB-C cable is also, it's braided and it's, it's, it's nice feeling. And it's this nice, again, Master Chief Green. I mean, unless you're getting a bunch of uh, USB-C cables, you're not gonna confuse this cable for anything else. You know, everybody has a bunch of black, white, blue cables around. And at some point you're like, well, what was this for? Nintendo is nice enough to actually brand the end of the cable. That way you can tell it's a cable for the Nintendo Switch or a Pro Controller. Well, th that's kind of what this does for you here is it gives you a real indication of what this is for uh, as long as, I guess, your um, memory um, your memory registers what this is for. You, you should always remember that. But it's a pretty good length. I believe it's about six feet in length. Uh, so even if you're away from the console a little bit, uh, you need to charge the controller, you should have enough room to be able to do that. So we were talking about D-pads earlier. The controller, of course, doesn't come with a, dis uh, comes with a pad of sorts, but it's not a distinct uh, plus sign. You do get the distinct plus sign as an option. These are, of course, all magnetic, like the rest of the Elite Series 2 pieces. I believe actually all Elite controllers, the, the additional pieces are magnetic. They're made of a higher quality. There's real metal in these controllers. These controllers are sizably heavier. Uh, battery, lithium ion battery, of course, built in. You have programmable buttons here on the back, uh, which will connect to ABXY. And um, so that way, if you're uh, controlling the sticks, you're pushing on the triggers, you do not have to move your hands from the bottom to be able to hit those face buttons, or you have to take your hands off the uh, stick to hit those face buttons. You have switches on the back, of course, to change the throw of your controller. This might come in handy if you're trying to, say, use a battle rifle or a pistol. Uh, and you can switch it back if you're going to, say, play something like Forza and you need a little more, a little more control with uh, how far you're pushing the trigger down. The design of the, con of the controller, again, we're looking at a nice Master Chief uh, green. This is, I would say, definitely more based on his helmet as here on the back, you can see the little insert that we have all seen in multiple Halo games where Master Chief is inserting the CF card with Cortana on it into his head. That way she can talk to him and help him evaluate situations going forward. I call it a CF card because Microsoft did something very similar to add storage on the back of the Series X where you just take a card and you plug it in. Other notes on this controller, uh, the buttons I think are, they're a little darker. Uh, the ABXY is not quite as visible. I mean, unless you're really shining a, uh, a light onto it and looking directly into it. Uh, that's a little harder. Your sticks, you get an option of a longer stick. You do have uh, some different options for uh, trigger paddles in the back. And there is also an option uh, and they allow you a 
uh, key to make adjustments on your uh, sticks as well. So that is the Halo Elite controller. Um, only other thing I guess I would say about this controller, uh, I love I love the paint job. Uh, the the grips are wonderful. You know you've you've got the little one one seven up there in the corner. As I said, I would love a second one of these for my collection uh, to leave it boxed, but this one is going to be get, get used. I will definitely have to take extra care of these because these are not uh, going to be widely available for very long. So that, everybody, is the unboxing for tonight. Happy Xbox Day, and I hope you all enjoyed this evening's video. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos like this and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope you all have a wonderful evening out there and I'll see you in the next video.